Hello, welcome to Med School. After iron metabolism, our topic will be iron deficiency anemia. Part 1. So, start with normal hemoglobin concentration. Adult male contains 14.6 to 15.5 gram per dl hemoglobin and adult female contains 13.3 to 14.6 gram per dl. Okay, clinically 14.5 gram per dl may be taken as 100%. Now, clinical classification, we will classify anemia as mild anemia which is 9 to 12 gram per dl, moderate anemia which is 6 to 9 gram per dl and severe anemia which is below 6 gram per dl. But in Harrison values are little different, uh, moderate anemia is around 10 to 13 gram per dl and severe anemia is 7 to 8 gram per dl or below. Moving on with the condition that causing iron deficiency anemia are number one is increased demand of iron, number two is increased iron loss, number three is decrease iron intake. C. The condition where iron demand increases are first one is rapid growth in infancy and adolescence because in this condition a rapid growth spurts take place which increase demand of iron leads to iron deficiency anemia. Next is pregnancy. Everyone knows there is increase in demand of iron which causes iron deficiency anemia. Moreover, in the last two trimester daily iron requirement of a pregnant female is 5 to 6 gram per day and the last one is erythropoietin therapy where iron demand increases which causes iron deficiency anemia so major cause of iron deficiency anemia is loss of iron by many ways first is chronic blood loss as chronic bleeding via hemorrhoids uremia peptic ulcer and other chronic gi bleeds can causes iron deficiency anemia one should know that in post menopausal woman old age male chronic blood loss is main cause of iron deficiency anemia and usually these patients present in late stage parasite infection is other important cause of iron deficiency anemia in pediatric cases this is commonly seen in which hookworm like parasite causes chronic loss of iron and other obvious cause of iron deficiency anemia are menstrual cycle mostly in minoragic women where iron deficiency anemia is common acute blood loss like rta injury in that case acute blood loss occur and anemia is seen blood donation and phylobotomy are other rare causes so the last cause is decreased iron intake or decreased absorption if we see the first major cause is inadequate diet next is malabsorption syndrome in malabsorption syndrome celiac screw Crohn's disease are common where iron absorption is hampered so iron deficiency anemia is common in these people malabsorption from surgery means like gastrectomy and bariatric surgery the reason is in these surgery the production of hcl decreases which causes decreased absorption of iron leads to iron deficiency anemia before we proceed to symptoms and signs one should know that the diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia totally based on clinical presentation. If you see the patient carefully, you know at first instance that that patient is having iron deficiency anemia. Okay. So now we are going to talk about symptoms and sign. First we talk about the history given by the patient. Majority of patient came with complaint of easy fatigability. The reason is when in iron deficiency anemia decreased oxygen supply to muscles happen and and also to myoglobulin which lead to easy fatigability and which eventually lead to body ache. Next is palpitation and breathing difficulty. As in iron deficiency anemia the blood becomes thinner which causes increased viscosity of blood. On the other hand as the demand of oxygen supply increases, the heart pump fast, which makes hyperdynamic circulation, causes palpitation, okay, which also lead to bounding pulse and in lean and thin patient, you can also appreciate murmur. C. Giddiness and panting or syncope are more generalized symptoms which we usually notice during the practice. Although body assured that brain is getting adequate perfusion but in iron deficiency anemia due to laser hemoglobin the oxygen supply to brain sometime hampered at that time giddiness and 
फेंटिंग और सिंकोप में भी सीन द अदर सिम्टम्स ऑफ आयरन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया आर डिक्रीज एक्सरसाइज टॉलरेंस एंड जैनल पेन इंसोमनिया टेनाइटस लॉस ऑफ कंसेंट्रेशन इंटरमीडियंट क्लोडिकेशन टेंगलिंग सेंसेशन इन द एक्सट्रीमिटीज मेस्टुरल इरेगुलरिटीज आर कॉमन सिम्टम्स वी विल नोटिस इन आयरन डेफिशियंसी एनीमिया Eliciting clinical signs is very important part of clinical medicine. Let's see what important finding in an anemic patient may be seen. The first important sign is pallor. Pallor is seen in sclera and lower palpebral conjunctiva where pearly white color is seen and it is usually seen under natural lights. The next is angular stomatitis or chilosis means the presence of fissure over angle of mouth and it is due to the lesser amount of oxygen supply to the peripheral organs in glossitis the tongue become smooth due to loss of villi and become dry and bald if someone carefully examine the nails the platinacia means flat nails or coelonychia means spoon like nails may be observed in iron deficiency anemia and sometimes brittle hairs are also present means easily plucable hairs and if you carefully take the history usually patient presented with complain of eating clay or chalk which is also known as pica okay this is all about part 1 of iron deficiency anemia in part 2 we will discuss stages of iron deficiency anemia and then the treatment Thank you. Please like and subscribe.